Uh, Eve. Sorry, I meant Penny. Sick. Love you, Eve. Oh. Love you, Eve. Everybody's. Okay. Yeah, uh, everybody oh. sink. Everybody sink. Uh, wait, I need Harry in here. Sorry? Uh, Harry's going to be here for this meeting. Harry? Yeah. Okay. Why uh, are you acting so tense, Penny? What's going on? Sorry, say that again? What? Why, why are you acting so tense? tense? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm back after like four days. I don't know. I'm catching on. I'm catching up on everything. What should we be catching up on? Well, I woke up like 10 minutes ago. So he was uh, telling me about a farmer she wants to hire. Um, Lando was telling me about his onion seeds. Also, we okay. should get a menu for roosters because apparently Maldini's has a really cool one. Yeah. And uh, I'm here to degen so I can help hire for the AU shift because no one works the AU shift. So that's, I'm going to be around late for this week. Can you just give me one second. Where the fuck sure. is this guy? Where the fuck is Harry? I'm oh, hi, mind. Mr. Lang. Hey, Kitty, good to see you. <gasps> Where the oh, fuck oh, are oh. you, Harry? Lang, I had to run to the barbers and get a quick trim up, man. Look my best. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. My beard fell off. So I'm stupid. here, I'm here, I'm here. You're so fucking stupid. What the fuck? What? That's a nice car. Those are expensive. Let's go, Harry. No, it's, no, it's, it's, it's just a red block. So glad you're back, Eve. We gotta talk weed at some point, me, you, and Lang. I hate weed. No. Yeah, that's what we gotta talk about. Is it yeah. berries nice? Alright, come on, Penny. Hey, Barry, get the fuck out the back! All right, Penny, um, I don't really want to beat around the bush much, but, uh, you know, did you, uh, maybe do something you shouldn't after the big Cerberus meeting a couple days ago? What do you mean? Uh, I mean, you know, I'm kind of opening the floor here for you to maybe tell me. Mr. Lang, I haven't been around for, like, four days. I'm not talking Can about the four days you haven't been around. I'm talking about the day yeah, you okay. were around. Okay. Well, that was like five days ago. And maybe did you, you know, do something you probably shouldn't have? I don't even remember what I did three days like ago. Like tell, uh, you know, Randy that we didn't want to work with his company because he's Chang Gang. Tell Randy? I haven't talked to Randy in like weeks. Did you tell anybody that we didn't want to work with Dodo because they're Chang Gang? Okay. I talked to Turbo. Yeah. I told Turbo that. Sure. Why would you say that? Because I was asked to... to develop... A, like a relationship with him for Herberus. Okay, I mean, that's fine. Uh, first of all, I don't know who, who would say that. But even if they did, that's okay. But I'm just wondering why tell them that we're not going to work with them because they're Chang Gang. Well, I didn't say those words, no. I said, sorry, they don't want to work with Dodo. I did say because of your owner. Um, and, I mean, that wasn't wrong. Uh, Penny, I'm just going to make one thing straight here. Uh, sure. The reason this all works... The reason that uh, we run a well-oiled machine is because we have absolute loyalty and 
absolute trust in one another. Mm -hmm. The minute somebody starts breaking that, everything starts falling apart. So I need you mm -hmm. not to lie to me and tell me what you told Turbo or whoever verbatim. Okay. Do you want to know how that started? Okay. So I've been working with a Turbo for Rooster's Rest for a while now, right? What? And I know Turbo wanted to, to expand um, what, you know, Dodo was doing and even wanted to work with um, farms and farmers. And he uh, was telling me about how he doesn't seem to see an opportunity to do that because everybody's kind of doing their own thing. Um, and there's just, there was just no need. But anyway, um, with Herberus, I know that we wanted to do a bit of a bigger operation, sure. And so knowing that I, you know, I've been working with Turbo and Dodo for weeks, almost at this point, months, um, I talked to Nancy. I had a meeting with Nancy. Yeah, don't I, go crazy. Just her, chill, okay? You guys are fine now. Just hey, don't get crazy I think and toxic. Dodo would be really we'll go good to some mode and start banning transporting people. our crops. You know, especially when we get to a point of where we're kind of mass producing crops, we don't really want our farmers to just constantly leave just to drop off, like, you know, the crops that they've been farming um, and waste time. Um, and, you know, I've been working with Turbo. I've been working with Dodo. They seem great. Um, and Nancy said, okay, why don't you start talking to them about that? And we can do that. And I said, okay, do you want to be part of that meeting? And she said, no. I know you can handle it. I'm like, cool. And then I went and met with Turbo about, um, well, they don't really have um, like expanded capabilities just yet, but we were kind of talking about possibilities and, and kind of working with what they've got and how farmers work and blah, blah, blah. And I know you guys were concerned about uh, the the seeds, the you know anyone robbing the the seeds off of farmers, which is already very easy to do. Um, and I even talked about that with Turbo. He was talking, having his um, employees sign NDAs, having everything in boxes that they don't look in, blah, blah, blah. Either way, as I was trying to explain at the meeting, um, they would never be touching the seeds. The seeds don't leave the farmers. Um, anytime it ever leaves the farmers is if they were ever to put it in storage. Um, <laughs> like there's, there's none of that. All that Dodo or anyone really would be transporting would be the crops themselves, which, like I also said, cannot be reverse engineered. There is no indication of what strain that crop came from on the label of the crop itself. Anyway, so after the meeting, uh, Turbo texted me wanting to set up, like wanting to talk more, basically. Um, not just about Rooster's Nest, but also um, the possible Herberus deal. And so, I mean, I called him up and I told him, I'm sorry, they don't want to work with Dodo because of your boss. And that's what I said. Okay, now here's the issue, right? We had the mm -hmm. meeting at Cerberus. Mm -hmm. uh, you could have brought up, you know, your concerns and things there and asked us, you know, I, you know, what the next step or plan was. But instead, okay, this is from the, our perspective. Okay. Might not be the case, but this is from a, you know, outside looking in perspective, other side of the piddle type thing. Is that you just went behind our back and straight up told them 
that we didn't want to work with them essentially because they're Chang gang without giving us the opportunity to speak to them about it. Okay, and then well. this caused a massive shit show. Okay, proving our very, proving our very, uh, proving our skepticism we had initially. Uh, with them, then you know them being Chang gang, uh, all calling up Dean for a sit down. And then I, you know, I wasn't there for the entirety of the meeting. I think uh, Dean ended up salvaging uh, most of it and turning it. I'm not going to say a positive conversation, but a conversation that, you know, had some merit and, uh, you know, some progress. But uh, it really put us, uh, you know, in an awkward position because we were caught completely blindsided by this information. Uh, we were under the assumption that, you know, whatever we talk about, you know, as a unit, as a crew, as a group of Cerberus stays within that group unless, you know, told otherwise. And, uh, you know, you know, in my opinion, it's just not really, you know, it's, it seemed very, uh, you know, out of, out of your, you know, your, your character, your personality to, 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 do, to do something like this. I was actually quite shocked. And I'm just curious as to why you felt like you had to do that. I mean, I was asked to start a relationship with Dodo and Herberus. And so I felt like I had to end it, I guess. I like I But did you I, actually end it though? Was that your initial uh your initial I mean, point of telling them this? Uh, Was is, yeah, is the relationship over with Dodo now between you and Dodo? What what do you mean between me and Dodo? Well you just said it, you felt like so, you had to end the relationship, right? For her I, I told him I told him Herberus wouldn't like Cerberus or Herberus didn't want to work with dodo like that was the conversation there was no but do you understand I don't really how understand. you know you shouldn't have done that i shouldn't have done which part uh one the way you went about telling them without letting any of us you know be aware that this was happening right and then two, the way you said it. Okay, so for the way I said it, okay, I apologize that I included the because of your boss part. Um, I, I think that, I mean, Turbo himself would have assumed that even if I literally didn't say it. If you don't want me to literally say it, fine um like i the, and then and then not letting anyone know i mean i again i was i was told i was tasked with like setting up the dodo stuff and yeah my name so correct? yeah and so You know, before we had the opportunity to, because again, he texted me wanting to talk more about it. And I took that as an opportunity to let him know we can't talk about it more because, like, it wasn't going to happen. Okay, so I think, so I think you're misunderstanding, right? Uh, the conversation could happen uh it definitely would have happened for sure but it's kind of the context behind it correct uh we should have you know talked about this together and approached them together uh you know we weren't aware that you were going to go and do this and you just kind of did it right and then the way you kind of gave them that information it's either they took it the wrong way or you said it in a certain way and they took it the right way depending on how you said it right i uh, you know came back to bite us in the ass and we were completely unaware It's, it's overstepping a bit, Penny, if I'm being honest. Okay, I, I'll be honest. I don't know how I was overstepping when I, was, when I thought I was doing my job. 
because we, we need to be made aware of these things, Penny. You, you got to understand, they came at us, and we were in a, even aware this conversation happened. Do you understand? Was like, I so... Okay. So, when I... Again, when I was told to be the one to set that relationship up, it doesn't make sense... It doesn't then make sense for me to, like, to go to everybody else. Hey, by the way... Actually, I'm going to tell them that you guys said no. Why? Even though, why doesn't that make sense uh, for you? Because honestly, like if I was the if I was gonna be the liaison between the two, and I and I had been. It, like it doesn't make sense for me to bring everyone else in well i'm not speaking everyone else i'm just pertaining to me uh dean and leslie in this conversation right and maybe nancy although i, I got to figure out more of the context as to why right. she did this right but in, in reality we, we don't make moves without at least making each other aware about it you so, know what i mean i okay now i'm Hello? Sorry, I'm thinking. It's okay, take your time. Sorry, I'm just confused as to the structure of the whole thing. All right, uh, what are you confused about? Let's try to, you know, untangle this web. Because I was I was following what Nancy, the CEO. All right, let's let's rewind the conversation, okay? Right. Let, let, let's go back to the context of Nancy. How did this conversation happen? What exactly did she tell you? What compelled her to have this meeting with you? Because now I Nancy mean, is saying that she told Penny this in passing, but Penny is saying that uh, I guess she's about to. It, uh, it was just a it was just a meeting of our Herbert's. Like, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna set things up? Blah, blah, blah. And you know, like we've had a few conversations uh, about this. Um. And, and, and so, like I told her, oh, there's this thing I want to talk to you about. It's about Dodo. And then, you know, like I said. No, no, no this is very important. Yeah. So Nancy, why she pulled you aside and said, hey, listen, I want you to go and work with Dodo. You know, how did this conversation go exactly? No, I, um, I brought it up to her. Okay. I brought up the possibility of working with Dodo to her. Okay. And I told her in the context of, you know, uh helping with the transports between farms at the time farm to restaurant probably because you know we didn't really have a storage um or farm to storage the possibility of farm to storage um and and i know that's going to be a much bigger issue once we start mass producing mass farming because a farmer is going to be out there all fucking day um and okay hold on. i don't want to interrupt you but let's just pause for sure. a second so so you initially brought up the conversation of wanting to work with dodo correct it was not nancy then yes this specific topic the specific topic yes. being working with herbert dodo yes dodo working with herbert you initially brought that up did nancy bring up any other sort of topic involving building a, a relationship a working business relationship with, with dodo prior to this no okay so then you initially brought it up right yes and then you worked in this relationship, you built it up, you came to the meeting, you realized that we did not want to work with Dodo, nor will we work with Dodo, right? What? Say it again? Uh, you realized that we did not want to work with Dodo, nor will we work with Dodo at the meeting. Mm-hmm. Prior to, before, the, before that, you were working hard on building a relationship. Now I'm going to assume here, Penny, that, you know, a bit of emotion get in the way here. 
and went and told them these things without realizing that, you know, we should be working as a team here and be made aware of all these moves, right? No. Why not? So I got a text from Turbo of him wanting to talk more about logistics. Okay. With, you know, both with Rooster's Rest, which is a totally separate thing, and like Herberus Farms. And so instead of answering back, yeah, let's text, let's like, let's talk about it more. I told him, unfortunately on the Herber side, like they don't want to work with Dodo. Because of his boss, right? Because of his boss. And you don't see how that could have uh, maybe been a problem if we weren't aware of this conversation? I mean, no, not at the time. No, not at the current time. But now do you see why it could have been a problem? Sure. Yes. He obviously talked to Randy about it. I mean, I mean, I'm curious. Did you think he would not speak to Randy about it? I mean, I don't know the, the level of which like uh like he was talking to Randy about his uh, about this like possible deal the way i see dodo is like rooster's rest uh Randy like turbo runs everything Randy doesn't get chain gang involved in dodo unless uh unless his employees are fucked with like the BSK situation and, and whatnot. And um, much like here, like uh, Rooster's yeah, but, Rest is but, not but, involved but, in anything. But Randy still owns the business, right? Sure. So if, if so, if somebody's saying, I don't want to work with you because of your boss, he's going to react to that, correct? Yes. So now do you see the problem there? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, I accept your apology, but, uh, you know, I will be honest, uh, Dean and Leslie are not really happy. Uh, you know, like I said, Penny, we, we always work in unison, you know, we, you know, small little things here and there, you know, we, we never have much control over it. You know, we never overstep, but, but things like meetings and either ending or creating business relationship relationships with, with other businesses is something we always make each other aware of. Especially something as, uh, you know, sensitive as Herberus is and will be, right? Right. Wait, why is it sensitive? It's the scene. Okay. Yeah, Penny. So, the, the way everything's set up between Maldini's, CG, Randy, you know, Roos's Rest, Herberus. I like the idea of Dodo, you know, taking... The, the crops and the seeds, but let me tell you, the There's moment the you get to grade 10, okay, what's to stop Turbo, you know, finding out, you know, we have those seeds, then he tells Randy, then they, you know, the thing is, then that's going to land in the laps of Maldini's. And all your edge, all your hard work is going to be gone. Okay, so one thing. Okay. Okay. If there was actually any of that kind of fuckery going on, it would be so obvious if, if it was coming from Dodo's side that that it would like it would be so bad for their business. First of all, this would have been a potentially large account for them. Why would they want to ruin that? Second of all, why would they want to ruin their reputation like that? It, it, they their business relies on complete privacy. Um, and like, no matter what, I mean, besides just these seeds, like they're transporting God knows fucking what. And like, if, if you're saying that like Randy and his boys could go and just rob that at any time, 
that would be really bad for business. Um, and then second of all, like I said, there's just no seed stuff happening there. Um, uh, well, there, there, there's no seeds being transported. Again, they just stay on the farmers or in storage. Um, yes, which the, is put you, there by you know, the, uh, the, the armless, uh, you know, easy to shoot and rob farmers, correct? Uh, I mean, you, you could, we could talk about, you know, security of some level. Sure. Um, but it's pretty fucking boring out there, man. Um, and yes, we have heard about, um, farmers being robbed, um, mainly Uwu farmers and, um, uh, and some miscellaneous people. But, um, like this was weeks ago, I, I'm not saying that it's not a possibility, but it's not hard to rob farmers already. It is not hard yeah, at but, all. Yeah, but you know what's the, uh, the variable here that makes it that they're likely not robbed right now? What? Motherfuckers have too much ACDC and they're not going to sit 10 hours a day waiting in hopes to see a farmer. But now if they're handed, a, you know, a direct schedule on when a farmer is there or when some shit's going down, it's then a lot easier for us to say, hey, let's go hit that shit. We got the info. Well, let's go. Well, you see, when we're going to when we're going to mass farm, there are going to be farmers there all day. Like, no matter what. So there's no schedule to be had. It'll just be 12 hours straight tsunami farming. Yeah, but, but that is that's information that you know, right? To to some probably random Joe Schmo, he probably wouldn't know that. Could he figure that out? Of course he can. Anybody can figure out anything out if they tried hard enough. For sure. I, again, it, it, the, there's like, I get, it would be bad for a business in my opinion. Like, it, like in my opinion, like that's that's definitely a risk. I'm not saying that's not a risk, but in my opinion, that's a risk I'd be willing to take just because that would be so bad for business um, that I don't think that they would do that. But fine. Um, uh, I wanted to address something else and I totally forgot my third point. Um, oh, you're all assuming that Maldini's doesn't have high grade seeds already, which I'll be honest, I highly doubt. Okay, knowing but that. Wayne okay, but has look, I just want to clarify something here. Like, I, yeah, I feel like things are getting like just confused here. Like, yeah, we got to disregard the farming, uh, you know, what they're good at, what they're bad at, how people farm, yada, yada, yada. The, the point here is, Penny, is we, we can't be going, you know, behind each other's backs and, like, just either ending or, you know, making certain moves on certain business relationships without us really thinking of a plan of attack here. We were, like, we just had that meeting that day of about how we we're not going to work with Dodo. And we were going to come up with a plan to handle it. And maybe even have a conversation with uh, whoever was involved to see why they wanted to be involved before we really made a move. But the instant reaction there was just to go to them and be like, listen, they don't want to work with you because you're a fucking boss, right? When we didn't really even have much time to kind of go over things, uh, process it and see what their benefits versus the risks actually were. Right. I mean, my perspective was that it was a straight up no. I, you guys had a sidebar and you came back. Oh, no, it, anyway. was, a straight, it was a straight up no, but you, you still have to have the conversation and make sure things are end peacefully and things are ended in a way where uh you know it, it, it's business you, you got to make sure everyone's happy people understand you got to make sure you know you you give the correct reasonings uh you know what is somebody being like hey, they don't want to work it because of your boss that guy is going to feel a certain type of way about it and depending on who that guy is he might react in even a worse way to give us problems right And like I said, you know, uh, with Dean and Leslie, uh, they felt very, you know, overstepped. Uh, you know, we were blindsided. And, you know, like I said in the beginning of this conversation, you know, how we work with our CEOs, as you very well know, is we're in unison, you know, absolute loyalty, absolute trust. We communicate things, big things like this. Maybe not the small shit, you know, how to improve the business, you know, employees, firing, shit like that. You know, you're free to do it on your own. But, you know, big things like this is we have to communicate, Penny. Cause it, it looked very bad on us. We, we were completely blindsided. We, we we had to come up with a scrambled way to handle the situation. And thank God Dean salvaged it. Yeah, it could have been pissed. a lot worse. They, they were very, yeah, they, very angry. They, they stomped down to the Cerberus Center. I was standing outside. I could hear Randy shouting, you know, 
Uh, and Dean was left, you know, with just to deal with it on his lap. Like, they instantly called him up and they were not happy. It wasn't really me or Lang that... Like, we weren't even prepared it. for the meeting, you know? Like, me and Harry couldn't even been there because we just didn't know this, this shit was going down. All right. Again, I'm sorry for how that turned out. Well, I, I accept your apology, Penny. The, the, the fear with me here is, is that... I don't know if... How do I word this? I don't want to see you distance yourself by not communicating with me. Because you're not aware of the things that we are aware with, you know, certain individuals that we worked with or try to work with in the past. We do have history with people. And why we make certain decisions. And I want you to trust that when we overstep on a decision, that there's a very good reason for it. And if that trust isn't there, this won't work. You understand where I'm coming from? Because yeah. you know, by sheer experience, I never step into anything you're doing. And then 98% of the time, I'm supporting it. I'm giving you a call. I'm letting you know. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here to support whatever you want to do. But the minute we, you know, we start distancing ourselves or breaking that trust, if you cannot trust me, Penny, to make a decision when I'm overstepping... You know, how can we just trust each other? It's going to it's going to it's going to require me to micromanage more. It's going to require me to get into all the aspects of things you're doing and make sure you're doing it correctly. And I don't want to do that. Mr. Lang, you know, that is completely set here in Roosters, right? Uh, what do you mean? Like that, that trust is 100 percent here for Roosters. You know that, right? Oh, yeah, I know. I'm just saying though, but like now we're yeah, trying to now, uh, now we're trying to grow and you know we're trying to evolve, right? We're trying to you know do a lot more work together because quite frankly, you know you are deserving of that, and that and that trust needs to be instilled everywhere. There's an overall blanket in everything that we do. No, for sure. I I mean I'll be honest, like I was saying before, I'm confused about the structure. So so what is confusing about it? Uh, because I was listening to nancy my ceo and just going with the responsibilities i had which is a lot um yeah but see that's the thing nobody care oh, not, not that nobody cares but nobody was worried uh that you were building a relationship that's fine on, on your own accord you can do that whenever the fuck you want right the the, the care and the skepticism and, and the paranoia comes in is when you don't trust us on the decision that we made, right? If we told you that, uh, you know, we're not working with Dodo, uh, at that point, you let us handle that problem for you and for us. It's very dangerous to go, you know, behind our backs and just kind of end that relationship. Now, I know you felt like you had to because you're the one that started it. And like I said, at that point, maybe me, Dean, and Leslie would have discussed it and we would have brought you in, into another meeting. We would have had a conversation and all of us together could have gone and, you know, ended it on peaceful terms. But initially, they were very, very upset, very angry, and we were blindsided by it. Okay. And like I said, I'm not angry. I'm mostly scared, if you want me to be honest. Because me and you, you know, you're my fucking, you're my right-hand woman paying with dynamic duo. I give you the keys to the kingdom that I've hold, held closest in my heart throughout the years of me being in the city, and that's this fucking restaurant. And for this to work, you got to trust me. Absolutely. That makes sense? Yeah, no, it absolutely makes sense. And I do trust you, Mr. Ling. You know you're my number one, right? Yeah. Like I said, Penny, you know, I love you a lot. I look at you like a daughter. I see massive potential in you. But the trust got to be there. Communication, you know, that... When I give you advice, not necessarily listen to it, but, you know, you know, take that to heart and uh, just trust that I know what I'm doing. I don't want to see you, you know, putting yourself in a bad spot uh, based on decisions. You might not even think you were wrong initially, but, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, <laughs> they do things 
without thinking sometimes, right? They do things they think are right. And before they know it, they find themselves at the end of a fucking gun in the middle of nowhere. Not saying that I'm going to kill you or, or nothing like that. This is not that deep with that being said. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it, it, it resembles, you know, like with fucking Petunia, okay? It's uh, certain things you should communicate and plan and move together. Most things you can do on your fucking own, do whatever the fuck you want. It doesn't bother me. I trust you like that. But certain things, we got to be on the same page or it won't work. Sure. Yep. And like I said, you know, I, I don't try to control you in any shape, way or form, but there are some times I'm going to need to step in and make a decision. And, you know, you're human. You might not agree with it or not. But at the end of the day, if you don't, you got to be like, okay, if I trust Lang, I'm going to trust it is the right decision. And it may and it may very well not be. We'll find out in the future. Mm -hmm. I do, like I said, I do trust you, Mr. Ling. I trust any decision that you make. Okay. So now I'm going to talk to Dean and to Leslie. I'm going to see, you know, they're probably going to want to talk, you know, and I, they want to talk initially, but I just want to kind of talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. I brought in Harry because Harry's just good, uh, you know, comedic relief for tense conversations that helps me get through them better. True. But, uh, you know, I just want to make sure that you're good, that we're good, that you're aware. And I really don't want to see you Wait, fucking distance what? yourself, Penny. I really don't want to fucking see you end up like other people in the city that I've, you know, started off on a really good path. You know, start doing their own thing, stop communicating. Before they know it, they're out in the fucking streets begging for fucking change. That's why I'm here. I've been keeping quiet, afraid to, you know, crack a joke. Fuck. Oh, that's literally why you're here. Just because it's me, really? Anyway, Whoa. no, I mean, as long as I've got roosters, I'm good. Well, like I said, you have roosters. Okay, let me clarify something. This doesn't jeopardize you losing roosters at all. Okay, but what yeah. this could do. Oh, I know that. What, 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 what this could do is potentially plant the seed of corruption that inevitably leads you to that point. If we don't fix the problem. Does that make sense? It's like a snowball effect. Right. Oh, no. Okay. Trust me when I say, like, this is solid. Roosters, my relationship with you, Mr. Lang, solid. Maybe yeah. not, I mean, I mean, at least on my end. Well, at least on my no, end. It's solid on my end, too, but on I need you to understand, you know, as you keep growing. Yeah, for sure. Okay, you're going from Penny Roosters Rest Penny to Penny Entrepreneur Building the Cerberus Empire. You know, you're becoming a queen of a country now instead of a queen of, you know, a fucking restaurant. I and with that, it's going to bring more responsibility. And with that, it's going to bring more trust, more communication. It's going to be a lot more pressure. And I think you're built for it. Thank we you. Just, but we just got to, you know, be on the same page. Always. With great power comes great that. responsibility. Absolutely. I saw that in Batman once. Yep. Batman. Um... I will say, this place has a lot of responsibility to it just on its own i know and that's so. why i'm always here to help you out and that's why sometimes no, we overstep absolutely. and make decisions and handle things that you don't need to handle because at the end of the day you don't need that headache now would have For been sure. a headache i mean it was a headache but you know we already resolved it okay all right i'll uh, keep in touch you know as you're probably gonna want to talk uh we'll be in touch okay sure all let right. me know if anything else comes out all right. Thank Love you, Penny. Love you, Mr. Lane. Oh, that's all, Penny.